Hi loves, it's Susha Boy here with LA Curly Girls and I'm coming to you with a product review and this is of the Benefit Their Real Push It Up Liner. And I received this at Generation Beauty back in May. Um, I um, Someone gave me a card, you get a coupon and you were able to get a full size. Um, product and that's what I got um, this is let me show you um, like a mechanical pencil and it pushes up you twist it here and the product comes up and it's really um, kind of hard to see um, how much product comes up um, but it comes up right here This, um, it's a new to Benefit. Um, they have a new line and um, a lot of people, you've probably seen this, a lot of people are reviewing it. Um, I am kind of, first let me say, I'm not a pro. So, user error, user error, user error, user error. <laughs> um, I'm not a pro, so please take that in consideration um, as I give this review. Um, this was just awkward for me. I really wanted to like it. I wanted to love it because I think the concept is great. A mechanical pencil for a winged eyeliner. One of the wonderful things about this is that this liner is super black. Um, and I'm not one that usually wears black eyeliner, but this has caused me to start wearing black eyeliner. I usually would go for brown, just trying to do a, a more natural color. But this black has brought out my eyes and I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, I don't know if you can But I do have it on and I've been wearing it. Um, you can get this, um, like I said, I got it from Generation Beauty. You can get it on the Benefit website and I believe Benefit is in mm -hmm. Sephora and um, Ulta and you can get it there. And I think they do have a few um, uh, counters in some of the various department stores. Um, this wore wonderful with makeup. So I have a full face on. This will wear very well. If I was to keep this on um, all day, this would last pretty much all day. Um, when I was at Generation Beauty, they of course they had the stand and they had artists there. And the, the young lady, she put this on me. And I, when I tell you, this stayed on me all day and into the night. It was wonderful. It wore perfectly. Now, when I try to just do a plain face, no makeup, and I just want to maybe put some eyeliner and mascara on, this will fade on me. It will fade. It will smear. Um, and it will disappear. <laughs> I will show you a picture. I will also say this is not waterproof. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my allergies or something. But lately I've been getting stuff in my eyes and my eyes will start watering and they'll get itchy. And it was one day, I hope I did not walk around in the store like this. But my eyes had started bothering me. And when I went into the bathroom to take my makeup off, I had raccoon eyes. I had stuff all over here. It was horrible. And I had went to the grocery store on my way home from work and I hope to God I was not like that in the grocery store. So <clears throat> just take note, it is not waterproof. It will smear if your eyes start to tear and something like that. <clears throat> the application, um, was that's where it was awkward for me because again, one, you don't know how much is there and it's really kind of hard. So my eyes are a little fuzzy. So I see now after a minute of focusing and then you take the pencil like this and you put it on and then you can turn around and you can finish your wing. Um, you would think with the angle it would help and it would be a guide. For me again newbie not an expert it was just awkward to use. Um, I couldn't get it close enough to my eyelashes to my eyelash line and sometimes I would still have like that clear fleshy part when I was doing my eyeliner. And I will say this, it wasn't consistent. Some days it would be perfect and then some days it wasn't. Again, it could be user error. I don't know. Um, another thing that kind of bothered me was I would use it, right? I would put the top on 
And then when I would go back the next day to use it, I would have a ridiculous amount because it looks like it's still coming out. And to me, that was just wasteful because then I couldn't use it. If I tried to put it on with that much out, it would just crumble down and I might get something on my face or on my clothes. So I would always have to wipe it off. And I know I watched uh, Tracy from Kiss. She did a review and she was saying you need to wipe it off before you use it and then twist it up. Um, to me, that's just kind of wasteful. And I think this is pretty expensive. Um, 22, 20, about 20 some bucks for an eyeliner. That's a lot. So if you're going to have to wipe product off and you know, that's, you can't use it. That's a lot. So the pros, super black, it wells wear with the makeup on. And, um, if you know what you're doing, it gives you a beautiful wing eyeliner. The cons, it's not waterproof. It's kind of awkward to put on, especially if you're new, you don't know what you're doing me um and you can't see how much is there um and you may possibly um twist too much out and then in the morning you if you when you open it the next day you may have too much out and you've wasted some so i really 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 wanted to like this but i can't i can't see spending 22 dollars on this um and it, it had too many cons so this is my review of the Benefit It's Real Push-Up Eyeliner. Alright my loves, I will be back. Stay beautifully curly.